<laughs> All right, ladies. So right out the gate, we're going to get some of the heavy stuff out so we can actually, you know, try to uplift by the end of the show. We have to talk about our good sis. Very sad to report the passing of Regina King's son, Ian Alexander Jr., who died by suicide um, days after his 26th birthday. Now, King released his statement to People magazine. Our family is devastated at the deepest level by the loss of Ian. He's such a bright light who cared so deeply about the happiness of others. Our family asks for respectful consideration during this private time. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, Regina, and uh, your loved ones. And this is just such sad news. And I, I, I wanted to say something real quick before I turn the floor to y'all. I had put my post up as well. And then I got a message from someone that's closer that said, we're all doing this, you know, with good intentions, but it's, it's hurting her to see all the tags. So I just took it down because I, I don't know how that feels. And, you know, I know everyone's just doing it out of the goodness of their heart, but I'm just trying to think of how she feels. Ladies, how do you feel about this? And I know we all know her. Um, Claudia, can I just make one correction for you? Mm -hmm. um, his name is Ian Alex. Oh, I said I, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Because with the Ian, because I, I am Zering, he pronounces Ian. I yeah. just want to make sure. Ian, that, no, no. Thank that, you. They, they, they didn't get mad at us about that, but it's Ian. Right. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you, did y'all know her, right? Yes. Yes. Very well. Um, when I first came into business, she was, uh, you know, friends with, uh, Vivica and my first little flyer campaign was with Tashina Arnold, uh, Viv, you remember this when we did the, um, China moon rags, you know, and she had myself, Tisha Campbell, Vivica Fox, Lisa Ray, MC light, Regina King. We were all on this poster together and I was the new kid on the block. And like you've heard me say various times, they all embraced me, you know, and been embracing me throughout my entire career. Mm -hmm. So when you find a group of ladies that have not changed and you're able to be able to take friendships from long ago and still be able to call them up on the phone. Whoa, I called Viv and Viv was like, I can share Viv. Um, you know, she was yeah. like, I've been crying all morning, you know, and I was like, right, oh, you know, yeah. So I, when, the, and then I also sent that message to Viv and Viv was like, no, no, you know, did I send it to you, Viv? Did I send the message to you? Or I think. But I, did I, you say you didn't know what to say? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because words can't even begin yes. to, 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 to even support or uplift her right now, because none of that is going to help and penetrate right now. You know what I mean? Because a mother losing their child, you never think of that. You always think that you're going to go before them because you've groomed them to be a, gr a great person to society and you feel that they're going to be here. So for him to be taken away and her birthday was days before that. So around the birthday month, this is going to always be forever what she remembers. I can't imagine. I told Viv, I said, she's going to need some serious support. Yes, she has her family around her. But when I tell you, we gonna need to rally a, a, around her and just give her nothing but love to be able to consume the 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 quiet time in which that she's gonna have. I I don't even know what I I, I I'm speechless. It's it's super sad, and that's I understand that Ian is her only child. Yes, Selena, you any thoughts before we move on? Um, just I mean, Lisa Ray pretty much she's pretty much summed it up. I just as a mother, like. She, I can't imagine what Lisa Ray said about, you know, there's nothing that you could do to really make it better. Just, it just hurts to know that she has to hurt like this forever. You know, now obviously, you know, the pain gets better and better, but never, I, I can't, I can't imagine my son, you know, taking his own life. You know, this is not like, there's anyone to blame even, you know, he took his own life. So it's yeah. as a mom, man, I, I, I don't know if either of you, any of you have ever lost anyone to suicide, but you feel the, you feel guilty when you're left behind. You feel like I should have recognized the signs. I should have said something. I lost a friend. I was one of the last people to talk to her. And for 30, 20 years later, it's still, you know, like, and I just, I, I'm sure she's probably, blaming herself and, you know, putting on like black women do putting the weight of the world on their backs. And Regina, you have friends in all of us. The world loves you and anything you need. I mean, there's nothing we can do to help you except just offer our love and any kind of support you need in this time. And we're going to be respectful of your wishes. So I was yeah. with Regina last night. 
and she's okay. I was able to hug her. I got a text saying Regina wants to see you. And I made a U-turn and immediately headed there. I didn't think about where am I going? What am I doing? It just <sighs> had to go see my friend, my sister. On the way there, I had to call and ask people, what do you say? I'm scared. I don't want to say something wrong. She's so strong. And more than anything else is that I'm glad that I got to hug her. Glad I got to look in her eyes. This has been absolutely one of the longest weekends I've ever had in my life. It's like I can't stop crying. But she said to tell everybody that she's gotten your text. The outpouring of love for her, her family, and her son. She appreciates it. It's just hard. And I just pray that what we do more than anything else for our sons, for our children, COVID and everything has got everybody in a dark spot, in a dark place. If y'all see any signs, any signs of someone being in distress, or if somebody reaches out to you that's just maybe not having a good day or so, stop. Take a moment to make sure that they're okay. She is surrounded by so much love, y'all. That was the beautiful thing that when I got there, our community is right there for her. If you never ever thought that the African-American actresses, actors, talent, supports and loves each other, I saw it last night. It made me so proud and um, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this, um, but she's okay. And she wanted me to let everybody know that she appreciates the love and the text y'all, but we will get through this. But as I said, y'all, if y'all see someone in distress, check on them, check on them because we got people Every day, you know, I've never thought about suicide in our community, how so many people are taking their own lives that don't want to be here. That's the scary part that, you know, that they just are deciding to check out. And, uh, but it's been eye opening for me. It really has been. And I've been trying to be trying to try. And I was like, oh, girl, please don't shed no tears today. But, you know, my, my tears are that I know my friend is so is okay y'all she really is and we're gonna get through this but we've definitely got to start bringing more awareness to mental illness we really I'm so do. i'm so glad well first of all thank you for sharing that personal moment and thank you for being there for her we're so happy that she had you to hug her yeah. you know what i mean and, and to be there for her and and be a real friend and to stop what you're doing and to be there for your sister absolutely i always will be